with I'll the video. I'll levels. You're just like, you know. Shorter videos. Yeah! Oh, Lord. All right. You're at a karate chop. Because, you know, I, I kind of make a joke no, of it. But the thing is, okay. if you have sure a sense of the math, you know, you might, yeah, someone might be given a prescription when, when and just that intuitive sense down. says this is wrong and yes. that can save someone's life. It's going now. So, you know, it's, it's more than just us doing numbers up here. It's giving you that sense of math that will become useful later on. And I'm, I'm not kidding. When you do blood values and blood chemistry, math like this, this is, this is basic stuff. So, uh, just a taste of what's to come. All right, another antibiotic. We have here... Erythromycin. And our erythromycin stock is at 100 micrograms, excuse me, take that back. Our erythromycin stock is at 10 milligrams per milliliter. This is our antibiotic at that concentration. You're doing a big transformation and you've got, you want to make, um, let me, let me add some stuff here. Okay, you want to make 500 milliliters of this erythromycin, or excuse me, of the medium containing erythromycin at a concentration of 50 micrograms per milliliter. Okay, you're doing a big transformation. You've got a vector and it has erythromycin as a selective factor. You're doing electroporation of bacillus, and it's going to take hundreds of plates to get to transform it, and, and lots of tears, and, and uh, it'll take a long time, so we've got to make a lot of plates. All right, and we want this concentration, 50 micrograms per mil. This is our final concentration. How much of this do I need to add to this to get this? You understand the question? Okay, this is my stock, 100, excuse me, 10 milligrams per milliliter. I've made 500 mils of a medium that I'm going to pour for plates. I want this as my final concentration of my erythromycin. How much of this do I need to add to this to get this? Okay, well, I'll give you about a minute to set this up, and then I will... Uh, We'll work it out as a group. So let's see what we've got here. What is our initial concentration? Ten thousand. Well, let's say let's just say sorry, ten milligrams per milliliter. We'll come back to that conversion in a second. <coughs> our initial volume, we don't know it, right? That's the that's our question today. What's our final concentration? 50 micrograms per milliliter, and what's our final volume? 500 milliliters. All right. Now, what's the problem that we have all probably seen here? Your unit agreement is off. We have to convert. Either we convert this one or this one. And I'll just tell you from doing this, converting this one's a lot easier because we get a lot of zeros, and we can start slashing those zeros pretty soon, and it makes a lot more sense. Now, technically, you can make this into milligrams, 
but then you've got a decimal, and those are going to get confusing. Trust me. Okay? So how many milligrams per milliliter is this? Excuse me, micrograms per milliliter is this? Five. Ten milligrams.